Well, after having heard the judge saying that the victims were telling the truth and that the former president's testimony was riddled with lies, it was pretty clear that Katsav was going to be found uh, guilty. And it was also clear that he and his sons who were present did not like what they were hearing. They repeatedly, quite loudly protested by screaming, it's not true, it's not true. But uh, the panel of uh, three judges of the Tel Aviv District Court this Thursday morning did find him guilty on two counts of rape and sexual abuse with uh, each carrying a maximum sentence of up to 16 years behind bars. This uh, 12 years after he first allegedly assaulted an 18-year-old uh, woman in his office during his tenure as Minister of Tourism, an act which he is uh, now charged of having repeatedly committed, and this while he was a president as well after having been elected to that office in 2000. And Galia, is Kansav expected to try to contest the verdict in the Supreme Court now? Well, we're not uh, sure what the former president's next move will be, considering that he virtually no one believes that he has any chance of getting any kind of a lesser sentence from an appeals court. But the defendant continues to claim his innocence. So we uh, never know. Remember that he was offered a plea bargain two years ago. The court had told him that if he pleaded guilty on the counts of sexual harassment, it would oversee the rape charges. But Katsav declined and stated that he wanted to go all the way and prove his of full innocence, which he obviously did not manage to do. The question is, will he try it again, but in front of Israel's Supreme Court this time?